If you follow me on Instagram and on my blog, you know I love books. Absolutely love them. It would be a problem if it weren't really a, an actual problem. <laughs> But I love specifically resource books for art, design, and decorating, and really anything dealing with creativity. So I thought my YouTube channel would be a great place to do some book reviews. I have a lot of books, some of them out of print, some of them that you can't see previews of on Amazon. So I thought I would share more book reviews here and also art supply reviews, which I'll be doing. But the first book up on the list is Nature's Palette. And this book is gorgeous. As somebody who loves color, art, history, and nature, all of those things merge together here in this book. It's beautifully made. The production quality of the book is very high. The paper's great. It's a good size. I actually have the author's other book, The Anatomy of Color. This is by Patrick Beatty. That book is fantastic as well. But this one, just like I find myself smiling as I'm looking through it. It's just such a beautiful book and really speaks to things that I love. I even love something as simple as this, how they put this index of colors in a color wheel. I just think it's so creative and beautiful. This book features Werner's nomenclature a lot. It also focuses on Syme's work on color and color in nature. I was introduced to Werner's nomenclature about a year ago and loved these little colored charts and how names of things in nature were paired with the colors. I just thought that was really beautiful. But this book goes well beyond that. And it looks at all of the colors and where they can be found in animals, plants or vegetables and minerals. So it does focus if you're into pigment making or pigments, there is a lot of good information in here. And I think you'll really like it. It's also got so many beautiful illustrations and pictures in it. I particularly love this page. And I actually did a page in my current sketchbook kind of based on these little colorful watercolor splotches. There's a lot of history in this book, but it's sort of sprinkled throughout. So it's not super heavy history all at one time, which can get a little dry. Uh, but it does talk about the history of classifying colors, shows a lot of antique color charts, which I am just fascinated by. I think that they are absolutely amazing to look at. There's a section for each color group. So these are neutrals, whites, grays, and blacks. It even has these fold out pages with Warner's nomenclature pages on them. And then it goes through each color with these wonderful little illustrations added. And it goes, there's a page for each color, which, oh my goodness, all the illustrations are so beautiful. And as I was looking through, I was just really captivated by all of the illustrations. But also, I found it really interesting to read about the animals that are indigo in color, the vegetable, and then, or the plant, and then the minerals. As someone who's just starting to get interested in pigment making, I found the minerals to be very interesting. It does get into entomology. I really liked this page, so this would be a great reference if you like drawing or painting eggs. It gives you a lot of variation and different patterns that you can copy. So I think that this book is good for, definitely it's good for artists, for designers, people who love color. There's so much interesting information in here about color. So if you're just interested in kind of the history, it's good for that. And I also think it's just a beautiful coffee table book. If you like nature and like appreciating the colors and the intricacy of nature. I think this book is fantastic for that as well. And it's quite extensive with the indexing of colors, the color names, when they were created, by who. So I find that 
it, it's a very well researched book and a beautiful book at that. So I will include a link in the down bar if you're interested in purchase purchasing Nature's Palette. It is a fairly new book. It came out in 2021. I am planning on doing a lot more book reviews. I have hundreds of books to review. So if there's one in particular that you'd like a little tour of, please leave a comment and let me know. 